All right, so I'm quite happy with these uh, main booms, I guess you could call them. Uh, the new bolts, longer bolts that I managed to find, much better. And I got those two washers in there. Um, now I'm going to try and change this bit a little bit because I'm not quite happy with it. Before I had these things, these aluminium L uh, extrusions, I guess you call them, um, that go from one end goes into the little post mount thing, the other end goes into a threaded rod that goes down here. But I've decided I'm going to swap to steel um, just for its repairability and their uh, box section. So I've got these two steel boxes now. They go like that and the threaded rod that goes into the panels. Uh, a little bit happy with that, I think it, it's going to be a bit more sturdy. But we'll have to see when it gets uh, put back together. Alright, so I've just put the panel on the bike again. And uh, just to measure the length of these booms. And I think I'm going to cut them down by about 15 centimeters. Just to take a little bit of length off because it's unnecessary and it makes it quite hard to mount. And of course it's weight as well. So that's what we're going to do now. Well, so I now know the length that this boom needs to be, which is this is one of the back two. You can telescope like that. I've cut the the little bit off the end of the fatter one. Uh, like I say, I know the length, so now I just need to clamp it up, mark it up, and then uh, drill. I think I'm going to drill two uh, bolt holes through, and that should lock it into place. Uh, hopefully, in the future, I'm going to try and um, well, when I get back to the UK and can buy some more stuff. Uh, I'm going to make it some kind of suspension system, only like some light dampening just to keep some of the vibration out But hopefully to get back to the UK this should be good enough for now, but we can try it out and see All right got the two booms bolted now or drilled and bolted so you can see now I've got these two bolts There's the join and that holds it pretty uh, Pretty steady It's pretty good happy with that well, for the first time ever, it's under its own weight. It's not resting on the garden chair. <laughs> uh, it's got a bit of a wobble to it, but um, it's kind of working, surprisingly. Uh, what I need to do now is I kind of need to pivot the whole thing up because there's going to be a gap here. This this back of the panel is going to be like here-ish, just to give me access to the rack. I also want a better... I don't think this is going to be strong enough. I want something better here. I'm going to figure it out. Um, but yeah, the bike is is now holding that. I don't know whether I dare move it, but <laughs> yeah, progress. My god, it looks ridiculous though. <laughs> I can't actually believe it's standing on its own. Uh, it's pretty mental. Still got more stuff to do. I need to swap out some of these bolts here because they're too long. And uh, they're not not connecting very well, they're getting a bit wobbly. <coughs> I need some uh, some nylock nuts. Again, two here because it's just zip ties. Uh, this is what I'm going to do them with, these stainless steel ones with a little nylock on the bottom. I also want to get rid of these little sandwiches here. I've put those little spaces in because there's a bolt in the top of this one underneath the panel just so the panel's not resting on one of these dome head bolts. You can see like, these that they've got just not enough thread. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's looking good. That's the closest it's been so far. Well, it's a lot easier to see without the uh, panels on. And immediately you can see the, the points that are going to give me problems, or the weak spots, should I say. It's going to be that threaded rod, as you can see it's bent. And it's got a lot of, it's got a lot of give in it. Uh, same on the back. The back one's not so bad, but I reckon I'm going to upsize these or find some other solution and that might be the way to do it. But yes, it's interesting to see the frame. I can kind of lift the whole thing up if I grab the right thing. You can see like putting it into position. But yeah, it looks like the next job is to replace these things with something more suitable. Alright, update. It's another day now, I managed to get some more materials. Um, so I've made a few improvements just to stiffen up the structure a bit. I've put this one in the middle, uh, which makes a big difference. Also, I didn't want the, because um, if you imagine without this, the panel's sitting in this, and it's in the middle, it's not supported, it's going to bow, and over time and with vibration, I'm not sure if that's going to damage them or not. So that's, that's a good point of it as well. This I've sized up from M8 to M10, um, so it's a lot stiffer, and I've moved it from here, where it was, to here, near the beam. 
and with this central part this is very rigid now it's got not a lot of play in it which is really good uh, yeah, it's a lot more solid than before obviously I've added a bit of weight so that's what you get uh, but I'm very happy with it so far uh, as well I'm going to try and somehow re-engineer this this post lock mount thing uh, and that's actually the next job so let's give it a try <laughs> Alright, so the final result of the seat post mount. Well, I'm pretty happy with the results so far. Um, definitely made some progress. Uh, it's pretty sturdy. I mean, it moves with the bike really well. Uh, it's obviously got a bit of give in it still because I haven't tightened anything up and I haven't got this bit attached yet, so I need something vertical here to so hold that like that. Um, but yeah, pretty happy with it. Uh, it turned out better than I expected. Um, so yeah, as always, thanks very much for watching. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.